Welcome back to Red Raider Weekly. Well, the women's tennis program off to a hot start. They're currently ranked number 49 in the country. We had a chance to catch up with head coach Todd Petty and star player Elizabeth Ulithorn. The team is in the midst of Big 12 play. They give us a glimpse into the season so far. The Texas Tech women's tennis team hasn't had a winning season since 2007 and only three in the past 10 years. But all that seems to have gone by the wayside in 2011. Head coach Todd Petty has his team up to a number 45 national ranking and an overall record that makes it impossible to slip under 500. What's the reason for the success? I think the recruiting's getting better. I think the talent's getting better here. We're bringing in better talent. Um, you know, it's just been a step-by-step -step process. You know, every every little graduating class is paving the way for the next one, and we've just kind of built on that every year, and it's finally kind of starting to become a perfect storm for us, and we're getting better, you know, e each year. And in the, the freshman class this year, we have three in the starting lineup. It really kind of carried the way a little bit this year. On a squad that features four freshmen, four sophomores, and just one senior, Petty has had to rely on his youth, and so far they've delivered. Sophomore Elizabeth Ulithorn is one such player that has taken the bull by the horns. Well, last year as a freshman, she, she kind of nailed down the two and three spots, but I knew she had the talent to be a girl that was top 100 in the NCAAs, but it was kind of just maturing a little bit, and we talked a lot about it over the fall. and. You know, she re she really put in the hard yards. You know, she was in the gym a lot. She really worked on her fitness and and stability and things like that. And you know, she's got some of the biggest we weapons in the NCAA right now on the women's side. And I, I think she's going to be someone to contend with in the next couple of years. And just what are those weapons that Coach Petty speaks of? Well, I mean, I would say she's probably got one of the top five biggest serves in the women's game on in the NCAA. I mean, she's got a humongous serve, big forehand. She comes forward as good, if not better, than anybody in the country. Um, but it's being able to, I think she, what she's doing really well is shrinking her holes. You know, she had some holes on her backhand side. We've been able to really work hard on that so that we're, you know, equally good on both sides. The native of the United Kingdom, Eula Thorne has jumped to the number one spot after just one year of collegiate play. I feel like I'm playing better tennis than last year, which helps. Uh, also, just think it's a great opportunity, you know, to play against the, some of the best players in the country. Well, I just feel like, so like a lot of the times I'll be playing ranked players, and sometimes like on paper I'm not really expected to win if I'm playing the like top people in the country. But coming from overseas, Yula Thorne has had to make some adjustments to the American college game. <laughs> yeah, it is different, but uh, the tennis aspect side of things, like. I mean, tennis is the same everywhere in the world. Apart from college tennis here is a lot bigger than in back home. And what I really like about it is uh, the team environment, that you don't get that anywhere else. And also that you can have a coach on court with you, talking you through the matches. And Todd and TC, I think, do a really good job at that. Coaches Petty and Todd Chapman have put together a force to be reckoned with, but they still see the youth as a hurdle to overcome. I think it's, you know, being able to bring it on a Friday, Sunday, you know, it's really tough to get up for a big match on Friday and then be able to bring that same, you know, that same enthusiasm and that same aggression on that Sunday, and especially on the road. You know, we've been really good at home, um, but I think we've had some of our weaknesses, weaknesses exposed down at OU and OSU last weekend, playing on the road in front of some atmosphere and some crowds that got into us and being able to handle that. And I think that's, I think that's immaturity because we have the young team that haven't had to see that before. And I think as they get used to that, I think we'll see them, you know, be able to handle those situations a lot better. And what exactly does the 20 year old expect from this year's team? <laughs> team wise I think the main goal is to make the NCAA tournament like obviously like right now we're right there on the borderline um, to making it and so long as we carry on doing what we're doing and working hard I think I think we're in good stance to make it and uh, personally I just keep working hard and putting it all out there in the court to make us get to the end of the play tournament. Coming up after the break, we'll see what else is going on around campus in our Red Raider Roundup. More Red Raider Weekly coming up. At Plains Capital Bank, we believe in Texas Tech University. That's why we have made it a priority to support Texas Tech for over 20 years. We've proudly contributed to the Jones Stadium expansion, the new Rawls College of Business, the United Spirit Arena, and the Merkitt Alumni Center expansion. We also created the Plains Capital Presidential Endowed Scholarship. Because at Plains Capital Bank, we know the Red Raiders have the momentum to succeed. UMC is the primary teaching hospital for the Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center. The partnership between UMC and Texas Tech places us at the forefront of medical training and knowledge. It's a place where a team of professionals is committed to your care. 
As a teaching hospital, UMC is here for you today while training the doctors and nurses of tomorrow. It's my school. It's my team. It's our hospital. It's the dream of being part of something bigger than you. Here is a place where ideas become reality, and reality becomes greater than your imagination. Where research leads to vast discoveries, making the world a better place. Where the pursuit of deeper knowledge reaches untold heights. It's a place where art takes many forms and where tradition reigns. The dream starts with you. Texas Tech University. From here, it's possible.